Okay, we're talking with Shirley Boyd. She's with Tech for Learning. Shirley, good morning. What's going on? Tell us about what's new with Tech for Learning. Good morning, Tim. <laughs> we have a lot of great things that are going on at Tech for Learning. One of the most exciting is a research study that was conducted last year. Yeah. And we are now. Who conducted this research study? This is a peer reviewed research a peer study. Reviewed. Peer reviewed. By yes. Bob Peer. And it was done by SEC. Okay. And Scott Elliott's going to be in the booth tomorrow at 10 o'clock to talk about the research study. What did the research show? The research showed that the students who used Pixie in their classroom had a gain in reading and math of 12 months in a six month period. Tell me what Pixie is. What's Pixie? Pixie is a creativity tool that is directly correlated to the curriculum. You'll be able to create podcasts and movies with a click of a button and also publish in a safe environment. What grade level is it targeted toward? Targeted K through six, but I have middle school and high school teachers that are using it with their students. Okay, so uh, um, when you when they create something and they post it online, does it go to like a particular site? They can post it anywhere? What how, What's the product look like? You can actually save it to your desktop or you can publish it to something that we have called K-12 Share. With that, when you finish your project, select K-12 Share, then it publishes directly to our site in K-12 Share. The great thing about this is that teachers have their class or their students organized in classes so they can check the progress of student work. Right. This is also amazing if you're talking about RTI or you have special modifications or perhaps even your ELL students where you want to track the fluency as well as the progress of your students. Parents love it because it provides that school to home link. So parents can log in from, from outside to see what the students are doing? Absolutely. Cool. Okay. Absolutely. Plus, if your school district allows them to publish to Twitter and Facebook, you can also publish to Twitter and Facebook. Okay, so does it export as like a MP4 file, a quick or file? Or .mov. Oh, MOV, okay. Or M4V. So, so they can actually put choice. it anywhere if they want They to. can put it anywhere. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's so, amazing. So uh, give me an example of a school that you know of that's using it. That's Mainer a, ISD. Mainer ISD, the whole school district's using it. They have a license and they have the implementation in all of their elementary schools. As a matter of fact, we have several of the Mainer teachers who are going to be presenting in our booth. Cool, cool. And so what you got up there, is that an example of Pixie right up there? On this the... is an example of Wixie. Wixie, and not Wixie. Pixie. Wixie is our online version, so you have a choice. If you would like to work in a cloud environment where you log into a web browser and have 24-7 access for the students, then Wixie is the tool for you. That's cool. So uh, since uh, Wixie is online, is it less expensive than Pixie? What a great question. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Wixie is actually a per student cost because it's a subscription. Right. And with Pixie, we have a cumulative volume license. So the more kids you get, the less it costs. The more kids, the less it costs. Okay, so if somebody's interested in Pixie or Wixie. Come by 635. Okay, but I'm not at this oh, conference, okay. so how do I, what do I do? I'm not at this you conference. You can contact me, Shirley Boyd, and my email is sboyd at techforlearning.com and a phone number, 254-466. 8199. Check out all of these resources at our website, techforlearning.com. Okay, I'm going to go up there, show it to everybody. There it is, techforlearning.com. Shirley Boyd, thanks for talking to us today. Thank you. Have a marvelous show. You too.